Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Let's roll that intro and dive on in. yesterday's was about how how we might as dad sometimes uh, a small accomplishment of making a basketball hole or tying your shoe or any other achievement that our children may do accomplish we we sometimes might just be like oh finally I'm finally you did it or it's about time and that is the wrong kind of response that you want to give your kid because that doesn't that doesn't bring joy to them. And I don't really want to say pride. I don't want to say pr proud. I try my best not to use the word proud or pride because it, it's a very it's a sin and it's very bad. And I was tied up in it a lot, and I still am just a little bit, but not near as bad as I was. And so. I like to say this will bring this brings joy to me. You bring joy to me. That makes me feel with joy. And that's my way of not focusing on pride or being proud, but being getting out of that sin of pride. And so so what he was saying is that we need to say hey that was a great job you did amazing high five you know that kind of encouragement helps helps our kids know that hey dad is is filled with joy for us and let me tell you going from i'm proud of you to that fills me with so much joy i'm so happy for you it, it takes a lot of work and the boys i think are starting to see it and starting to realize that that is the way to go versus pride and uh we'll just we'll just have to see how it plays out but anyways today's today's devotional was about rules if you ask a five-year-old which how convenient i have a five-year-old and we ask him about rules and he would probably say no that rules rules are bad <laughs> but we as we know rules are good because they set boundaries they set limitations of hey don't put your finger in the outlet because you will get shocked and it's gonna hurt possibly kill you it could be worse and we know this because well we we may have experienced it ourselves <laughs> and uh, so as the children grow they realize that hey that rule that dad had of trying to keep up with housework there was a reason for it he, that way that we always had dishes we always had clothes we always had food we always had a nice house to walk into and it wasn't a pigsty and that kind of stuff it's the we're impressing these things on them is the way to do it instead of just blatantly yelling at them screaming at them saying hey you can't do that we got to impress these things at a young age little by little on them to show them the way the way of life the way the little lessons that we can teach them so that that brings us up to speed there <clears throat> now I want to talk about yesterday's video that was so much fun seven things that I, I hate about my Corvette SUV 
you have to go watch the video to understand it is funny it was really fun to make and don't worry I'm gonna be doing a seven things I love about my Corvette SUV and Dora truly is a Corvette SUV I uh, just look all around her like in that video check it out I'll put it up here in the top somewhere and uh, you guys can check it out so let's get into uh, today see what today might bring might not be much just in case we'll wait Well, all right guys that was our day and man i know i know we didn't get much in there but we went and we picked up a big uh you guys didn't see a big package which happened to be a wall unit um a p-tac is what they're called it's it's basically a big window unit uh you just put it in the wall and it, it'll heat and cool your house if it's small enough anyways it's like the hotels what they use the hotels right okay everybody now we're queer now we all know what we're talking about so we picked one of those up and we installed that in somebody's house because their heater went out and that is also their heater that's their air conditioning and heating and man that thing turned out amazing super easy to swap and in and out of there out of the guy's way got him heat happy happy everybody's good we we went on the way and went about our day now <laughs> Man, I just, whew, what a what a wonderful, wonderfully cold day it has been. It has been freezing. I it's 19 degrees again. It's cold, and I'm ready to go get my blankies, <laughs> my blankets, and warm up. <laughs> so, anyways, I just want to stop by and say thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Ask all of your friends and family members to subscribe as well because we are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. Guys, I finally got it right. I finally got it right. And I want to stare at my mic up here now. It's so big and funny looking. Here you guys can see it. <laughs> so if you see something black on the top, it's just the mic. Don't worry, it's just the mic. We're on our way to 10K subscribers. We're gonna make a pit stop at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So if you guys can help share share the channel, spread the spread our message, our message, we're a family sharing our faith and having fun. Cohen is ready for bed. He's got his awesome PJ mask pajamas on, and it is bedtime. So ring that bell. Ring that bell. Ring that bell. He says you better do it. Because he's got PJ mask on. He'll come get you. A, a chicken booty? A 40? Before you check in? Before I took a booty off. Did you understand that? <laughs> Older Cohen, if you're watching this, did you understand that? <laughs> We love and appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great night. We wish you the best. And most importantly, God bless.